Hey guys, what is up? It is Bibzuda7 here again and welcome to another RuneScape 3 vlog here today. In this video I'm going to be talking about this week's update and patch notes. There's really not a whole lot to talk about today which is why I wasn't too worried about this video being late. Uh, apologies that this video is coming out a day late here. I was just pretty busy yesterday on Monday. I had quite a bit of things to do during the day and just didn't really have time to make the video so apologies for that but we are here for this video and basically there's not a whole lot this week which I didn't expect there to be because last week we had the ninja strike and next week we have the new boss. So not really a whole lot of room for anything big to be coming this week. No ninja strike for sure and obviously the boss is next week. Really looking forward to the new boss Raksha and uh, they're, they're calling it the Shadow Colossus of Orthon. Which makes me kind of wonder how big is it actually going to be because it is... Uh, it is definitely, I mean, it definitely didn't sound like it was that big of a thing in the lore books, at least from what I read. But uh, I don't know, maybe it's about to be just absolutely massive. We'll have to wait and see. But um, they did release some details on the actual boss on their live stream. And I did make a little community post regarding that. That like I, I didn't really think it was worth the whole video in and of itself because it was really not a whole lot of detail that they provided. They said they wanted to keep a decent amount of it as a surprise, I guess. But basically what they did confirm is of course the release date, which is December 7th. And um, this was, I think last week is when they did this, but uh, it is gonna be solo or duo only, no larger groups than that. Uh, it will, for some reason this is specified, it does not have 15 phases. I don't know if that was like a, a common rumor or a question they were asked or something, but yeah, that is uh, something that they apparently specified. Um, both people, if there are two people, each of you will get your own drop. It won't be like, you know, God Wars or, or whatever that, uh, or like next that only gives one drop. It'll be something like Solok or AOD that gives a drop for each person. Um, despite the fact, of course, there can only be one or two. Uh, and they have said this multiple times, that it is between Rax and Telos difficulty, which could really mean anything. I personally don't really have a whole lot of trust in them in terms of their ability to measure difficulty of, of the bosses in the game based on things they've said in the past and stuff like that. But I'm not too worried about it given that difficulty moniker. Of course, I, I am pretty experienced with PVM. I, I've got over 3,000 Telos kills here. Really should go for Gold Warden someday. Just uh, haven't felt like doing it. But yeah, I mean, I'm not really worried about not being able to do the boss. I'm hoping I can get some kills day of release as soon as possible. Maybe get some of the first of the drops. That would be pretty sick. And I will try to make a day one guide as best I can if I can figure out mechanics well enough to feel confident in making one. I will try to do that as soon as possible. Um, they did, however, also confirm that there is not a new tier of weapon nor new armor. There's no weapon or armor drops at all from the boss. It's only going to drop codexes for, I guess, new abilities or whatever they're going to be. My main suspicion that I expect they're going to be having is some form of mutated or greater concentrated blast. Is it called greater? Yeah, greater fury and like greater barge. So I assume it would be like greater concentrated blast because I don't know, I just feel like that's been something people have talked about a lot and it would be sort of in line with the way they changed fury from a channeled ability to a, a single use, which I think benefited it quite a bit in terms of making it easier to use and more convenient. And I think that would be nice. And in general, magic has been quite uh, shafted in recent, like basically in the past year or so, I guess. I don't really know. Uh, it was kind of like a combination of multiple things over over the, the last couple of years that magic has gone from the top to the bottom in terms of, you know, powerful combat styles. It, it just can't can't even hold a candle to melee in terms of the raw DPS output. And then as far as I understand it, range is, is better because of the Eldritch Crossbow, the Criminal Bolt situation as far as I understand it. But I'm not 100% sure. I've really never dabbled with range even a little bit. I don't even have an Eldritch or anything like that. So not too sure exactly how it is better than Mage, but I have heard pretty much conf confirmed from other people that I know that 
Mage is not in the best place, so I assume Concentrated Blast is going to be seeing a, a greater form. But it does say Codexes, so I assume there's more than one thing. Perhaps a new ability. I would really love to see that. Uh, I am, I've said this multiple times in the past, I am kind of tired of them making these greater or mutated versions of different abilities. Like, I would really love to see more abilities in the game at this point, uh, you know, aside from the greater Concentrated Blast, which I think is the last one that really has any need to exist unless they're going to be adding some new versions of the existing ultimates that are not very good in the game and making them better i don't really know we'll have to wait and see but i would like to see a new ability at least maybe from this boss of course they have added new abilities in the past from things like telos with reprisal so we do have precedent for that to possibly be a thing looking forward to seeing those rewards though the only other thing they mention is that there is a short mini quest required to access the boss, and you, of course, do need access to Anachronia. So I will be making a mini, uh, mini quest guide as soon as possible, right when it comes out, so you can get access to the boss and get working on some attempts or maybe some kills if it is just easy enough to walk in and slap with no prior experience. But I find that hard to believe. I, I, I'm sure there will be at least a little bit of struggle on getting your first kills and uh, I'm definitely interested to see what the most viable combat style is going to be. Personally I am most comfortable with mage so I'll probably be going in with mage to start out but I don't really know how they're going to you know balance it if they're going to make it so you can use any style or if it's going to be leaning heavily towards one or the other. We'll have to wait and see but that's everything they talked about in that live stream so Figured that would be a good thing to mention here because the update is coming next week and I didn't really talk about it before now. And that's pretty much all I really will have to talk about this week. We um, we do have the advent calendar returning, which I guess is something I can mention. Um, is that Where do you even find that in the... Uh, I don't even know where that is located at the moment. Um, it shows up when you log in. I assumed it would be, you know, I think this is what usually changes to, yeah, the event um, tab is currently locked. So to be quite frank with you, I'm not 100% sure how to pull it up. I'll just try lobbying out and uh, logging back in again. But um, as far as I can tell, it's pretty much unchanged from last year. There, uh, There's just, uh, I think, 25 days that you can click on on each day. And it actually did not show up. So I don't really know how to get it to show up again. Maybe you guys can enlighten me in the comments, but um, I know it did show up when I first logged in, and I, uh, I, I don't think I actually clicked it because I did want to save it to show in the video. But either way, it's just the same as last year. The advent calendar comes up. You click on the day uh, that it is. And like Obviously, the, this one will be the first of the month, December. You click on the number one, and you get some random thing. It's, it's different in every box, and... Uh, I think if I think you need to do like 15 of them on the day of the number like if the day passes you can still claim the prize uh, of the past days that you missed but there's like a counter at the bottom that goes up to 15 and you need to claim the prize of 15 days on the specific day that it is for in order to get like some cosmetic pet or something like that if you are, are interested in that at all so yeah maybe if I like fully logged out it would show up again I'm not 100% sure on how to reappear that screen like i said i did assume oh here we go probably gonna have a comment on it or somewhere but this doesn't really make sense for me in my eyes for it to be here um, but there it is you click on the little uh membership treasure hunter thing and, and you can just go ahead and uh wait why am i a member until february of 2022 huh that's a lot that's weird i don't know but um yeah, 24 days of free gifts. You can click it to open it up. And this is basically what I was talking about. So, yeah, 15 of them need to be opened on the day of to get this uh, this thing. So I click the one here. And what do I get from it? Six combat training dummies. And I don't care about stupid-ass promotion, whatever. But you can see I have one out of 15. You have gained progress towards unlocking the Sir Colington Embers plushie. Who knows what the hell that's going to be, but um, yeah, Advent Calendar is uh, is back again. They've also uh, confirmed, I think they confirmed this quite a while back, but there aren't going to be any winter weekends this year, which people are disappointed with. Um, I'm not too worried about that personally, but um, yeah, I don't really know uh, why they're avoiding doing them. I don't think they were ever really a detriment, but 
I guess it's not something they want to be continuing with, and uh, they're not doing it this year once again. Uh, the only other things they mentioned, the uh, the Steam Awards are going on, which I guess RuneScape is now applicable for Steam Awards. So if you're interested in having RuneScape be possibly one of the nominees, you can go on Steam and, and nominate them for, um, let me see, they're going for the sit back and relax category is what they they mentioned. But there are several categories, and you can nominate for whichever one Um you want but yeah that is pretty much it for the main update page like i said there's really nothing here just the runescape advent calendar coming back uh the actually the thing at the very top of the post is the fact that the new boss is coming next week so next week's update is the top at the top of this week's news post which is kind of funny but um yeah, I did, uh, I did talk about the boss a little bit in terms of what they revealed. And then as far as patch notes go, I honestly didn't even see anything in here at all. There was a couple of things on mobile. You know when mobile, the section for mobile is, is at the top of the patch notes, that is not going to be a very interesting patch notes uh, for sure. But then there's like graphics and interface. Let's see if there's anything in other. I don't think there was. Um, Iron Man may now participate in challenge gems. I, uh, I did not know that they couldn't do that before, to be honest with you, but how can, I guess you can buy them off Solomon's, can't you? So I guess that would be where you would get those. Um, this line really confuses me and a lot of people. I still don't know what it means, but this line says, the Super Guthics Restore and Brew Flask now have a 30 second cooldown down from 45. I have no idea what cooldown that is referencing at all. It's not the adrenaline pot cooldown, and I, as far as I know, there's no cooldown on drinking the flask, so I'm really confused by that. Let me see if I... I do have a Guthix Restore flask, so let's just drink it. So the anti-poison lasts for 30 seconds, but that's not a cooldown. I have no idea. Let me see. Can I drink it again? Yeah, I can drink it again. Who the hell knows what that means? Very strange patch note line there. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much a bunch more fixes that are typically uh, not very important but that is pretty much it for this week you guys i hope you all did enjoy it glad i could at least have some time to talk about the reveals for the boss in combination with this week's update but um yeah we'll have to see how the boss release goes hopefully no bugs or anything i hope it goes smoothly really looking forward to it i mean we've it's been quite a while since we've had a new boss here and uh I, uh, I'm glad that it's just a boss, you know, it's been even longer since we've had a non-elite dungeon boss, so definitely looking forward to having this fight, and uh, hopefully it is a fun one, and hopefully we can get some good drops on the day of release. I'll, like I said, I'll be sure to have several videos out on the day of release going over the mini quest, any early strategies I find that are useful, and if possible a full guide later on in the day once I've gotten some kills under my belt. Thank you guys for watching. As usual, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.